faithful to that idea for so many reasons because we have we have such a weird and distended meritocracy view and just remembering to come back to the human and see all humans as as worthy and important and agents of change um is just so critical um so in general i've been trying to do that a bit more just to admit and talk about things that i'm bad at or um you know, really hard moments in my life, um, rather than just always giving this kind of arc of accomplishment or triumphal <laughs> success, because uh, it has totally been up and down. Um, and then I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of people over the years trying to bring them to where I'm at. And folks have done the same with me. And so um, what I have learned and what I continue trying to do is just remember that it's really hard to be human. Um, Much harder for some than for others, but that just being a human in this world right now is really hard. And if I can acknowledge that and accept that, but still ask for more um, and better, and again, you know, there's, a, I would never do that to many people in many groups, but this is kind of in, in convincing um, yeah. a certain group to come into the movement. Um, you know, just, just knowing that you've probably had a hard day, a hard week, a hard life, your interactions, your relationships, like we've, we've created these impossible goals. We've created this grind culture. We don't let people, you know, pursue their hobbies or hang out with the people that they love. Um, and yeah, just kind of saying, I, I get that that's hard and I, I, I get that, but actually still you need to care about other people. I really enjoyed this conversation. I am so delighted to have had the opportunity to meet you online. If people want to find you, I, I know a couple of websites, uh, planetpotluck.com and uh, the ubcclimatehub.ca, but is there another place or are those the two best places? I'm just going to put everything up on genosic.com. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I'm actually a pretty private person, um, okay. but I have made the decision to make myself more public um, so that I can help get my research out there. So I'm, I'm finally committing to that more public. Perfect. Th- thanks, Grace. Yeah. That's another edition of the Conversation Lab. This radio program and podcast is produced by CFRO-FM in Vancouver's downtown east side on the territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil Nations. Our gratitude and thanks to them, as well as the many not-for-profit organizations and community groups for their support. If you enjoyed this program, please consider becoming a member of Co-op Radio to help support programs like these. If you know anyone or an organization with a story to share, please let them know about us. We can be found at coopradio.org, theconversationlab.ca, and on many social media and podcasting platforms. Kimit Sekhan, John Massacar, and Julian Anton have helped produce this program. Thanks, guys, and thank you for dropping by the Conversation Lab.